Here's a number theory question from the 2014 Ukrainian National Math Olympiad. Find all primes P and Q such that 3 P to the Q minus 2 Q to the P minus 1 is equal to 19. And here's a hint we're going to be using Fermat's little theorem, which says if you have two prime numbers A and B, a to the b minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod b. So try it on your own and let me know in the comments if you're able to find the solutions. Or you could just watch me solve it. Okay. So like I said, we're going to be using Fermat's little theorem. And so let's evaluate both sides of this equation mod p. And then we'll do it mod q. Okay, so mod p 3p to the q is just 0 mod p. Just at what, what's mod mean? It's like the remainder if you divide by, by p. So this is 0 mod p. And then this is going to be, well, using Fermat's little theorem, this part here is 1 mod p. So this whole thing is negative 2 is congruent to 19 mod p. Okay, bringing everything to one side, we have 0 is congruent to 21 mod p. What does this mean? It means that 21 is divisible by p. So what prime numbers go into 21? Well, 3 and 7. So this means that p is an element of the set 3, 7. Okay, so far so good. Now let's do the same thing, but Q, so mod Q. The left-hand side, P to the Q, so P to the Q is equal to what? P times P to the Q minus one. Okay, so, but we know that this is one mod Q. So this is equal to P mod Q. Okay? And so what do we have? We have 3P is equal to 19 mod Q, right? This term is going to go to 0 mod Q. Okay, and we already know that P is either 3 or 7, so let's consider both of those options. Actually, before we do that, let's bring everything to one side. So 0 is equal to 19 minus 3p mod q. OK, that's to say that uh, 19 minus 3p is divisible by q. OK, so if p equals 3, right, we have the two options, 3 and 7. If p equals 3, then 10 is divisible by Q. Right? This, this side would be, would be 10, and saying 10 is 0 mod Q. So Q divides 10, which tells us that Q is an element of the set 2, 5. Remember, Q is also prime. So we have possible answers of 3, 2 and 3, 5. These might not be answers. We, these are just candidates for answers. So P equals 3, Q equals 2 is a possible answer. P equals 3, Q equals 5 is a possible answer. And if p equals 7, then we have that q divides negative 2. Which means that q is equal to 2. So we have another possible answer of 7, 2. So what we're going to do now is just plug in these numbers into the original equation and see which ones work. OK? So let me just get a little bit of space. Don't need a ton of space. So let's just check if it works. So is it true um, that 3 times 3 to the 2 minus 2 times 2 to the 2? Well, we want is this equal to 19? This is 27 minus 8, which is 19. So this is one of the answers. 
Okay, we'll do the same thing with three, five. So three times three to the fifth minus two times five to the two. This is a really big number and this is not as big of a number. So this is not equal to 19. You could check that on your own. So this is not an answer. And then we wanna check this one as well. So three times seven to the two minus two times two to the six. Well, that's 49 times three, which is 147 minus, this is two to the seventh, which is 128 which is equal to 19. So this is also an answer. So there's two possible answers. P equals three, Q equals two, or P equals seven, Q equals two. And that's it. So let me know if you solved it, and uh, yeah, let me know if you like this video. All right, see you later, thanks for watching.